All right, welcome back to Brightside on 10 Tampa Bay. You know we are tracking Hurricane Ian as your hurricane headquarters. One of the biggest impacts that we could see here in the Tampa Bay area is storm surge. And Grant is here to put that in perspective. You've been tracking maybe five to eight, perhaps more, five feet of storm surge. Yeah, that, that surge of water just being pushed right up along our coast. We do have a storm surge watch in effect for the Tampa Bay area, including Manatee and coastal Sarasota County. Peak storm surge right now, given the current forecast, is for five to eight feet. But let's talk about storm surge specifically. What is it? it it's not rainfall, right? It's not inland flooding. It's coastal surge coming from the winds of the storm. An abnormal rise of water generated by a storm, often the greatest threat to life and property when you start dealing with those coastal threats coming from a hurricane. It's all created because of that, that counterclockwise circulation around the storm and those winds blowing up along the coast. So as that wind pushes the water towards the shore, ultimately as the center of the storm, where those strongest winds are, you start to see that bulge of water, that surge or that wall of water that begins to approach. That's all wind driven. When you get really strong hurricanes, the low pressure actually pulls up a little bit of that surge or that water as well, making that surge even greater. And then as the hurricane moves ashore or at least gets close to the shore to produce those onshore winds, then you're going to see that surge impact along the coast. Let me show you one of the forecast models here. This is the European forecast model showing kind of a worst case scenario, if you will, this morning. As the storm begins to build up from the south, we'll see those winds go from the east ultimately to the south and west. That onshore wind is going to push that water or that surge onto our coastal communities. Wind gust St. Pete Beach forecast to be up around 90 miles per hour. It could be even higher than that if the center of the storm or that eye wall of the storm approaches and moves right over land. What does five to eight feet of storm surge look like or, or even higher? All right, so you've got your car. The car might be there around four or five feet tall. It could start to float up there around three feet of surge water. So you want to make sure you get your car, your cars out of the surge area. Five feet, six feet, that's about as tall as I am. That's about that height right there. As you start talking about eight, nine, ten feet of storm surge, that would submerge me and probably a lot of those single story homes as well. We got to watch this surge threat very carefully over the next couple of days, guys.